Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to Joyful Living. I'm so glad you're here today. I am having like the most chilled out July, which I really think is what July's should be about. But today I'm bringing you a somewhat late June favorites, but I, I think we're still in the safe zone for June favorites, right? So I have a little basket in front of me of my favorite items. I didn't do a lot of shopping in June, but I did purchase a few things that I really love. We've got some pajamas that will change your life. We've got some great hair care products. And yeah, I'm just really glad that you're here. So before we get started, you know, I really do like when you guys subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I don't know how to say it any more plainly than that. You guys are so amazing. I love those of you that keep coming back video after video, and yet still only about 50% of you that watch are actually subscribed. So if you are able to subscribe, it would mean the world to me. There's actually a big red button that is right there, and if you press it, you're gonna turn it from red to white, and if you turn on those bell notifications, you'll always know when I come up with a new video. So June was kind of a crazy month, uh, crazy in our world, crazy in my life, and July is feeling much calmer, and I am very grateful for that. And all of the items that I'm sharing with you today are really kind of like self-care um, or self-education items. Uh, I think as I'm nearing my 50th birthday, which is in 10 days as I'm filming this video, which blows my mind, I'm finding myself really drawn to products that promote kind of self-healing and self-care especially in the craziness of our world right now. So yeah, I, I think it, it's just kind of where I'm spending my money and I sort of see that being the case moving forward. So let's just get to it. I'll show you all of the things. What do I want to start with? What do I want to start with? Let's see. Let's start with a hair care product because those of you that have a uh, curly hair or hair that you wear wavy or if you air dry your hair, a lot of you have asked what products I use and I just discovered this and it is now the only product that I use. I was using Aveda Be Curly pretty religiously. I still will use that occasionally, but I actually bought this, um, you know when you check out at Sephora and they have that trap where all the samples are? I bought the sample size. I so fell in love with this product that I ended up ordering the full size online. It is Briogeo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Briogeo. Let's go with that. Farewell Frizz. And I'll zoom in on that for you. And the way you use this product is it's just a leave-in conditioner. So I spray it on when my hair is not really, really wet, kind of a little bit towel dried. And what it has in it, hold on, I'm gonna read it to you. Uh, no harsh sulfate, silicones, or parabens, which is super important if you wear your hair naturally curly. Uh, broom, re oh no, that's in French. <laughs> I do know a little bit, I know un peu, but uh, un petit peu is what I know of the French, but not enough to read this to you. Uh, Rose, Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Now I know it has argon oil and a few other little bits and pieces of goodness in it, but you don't need a lot of it. I think this was, what was it, $20? I'll put it down in the description box. I did buy it on Amazon uh, and it just, the smell on this product is amazing. And the big thing I love about it is if you are um, not a person, okay, so I don't like my hair, my curly hair sticky. There are a lot of products on the market that are either sea salt or sugar spray. Um, they're great for texturizing your hair, but they leave it kind of sticky. And the reason I love this is because it doesn't leave it sticky. It leaves it, I don't know if you guys can tell, super, super soft. Now I did my hair today. I just air dried it, literally just washed it and let it air dry. I sprayed this on and there are no other products on my hair. So that's the other reason I love it is because as a girl who only likes to wash her hair maybe two times a week, uh, the fact that this doesn't cause a lot of buildup is really, really good. And I'm just, I mean, it's not the best hair in the world, but I think that this product has given me the results that I'm the happiest with. So definitely give this a try. And again, the smell is amazing. All right, speaking of things that smell good, let's talk candles. 
on Juneteenth, I found out from a friend that one way to celebrate Juneteenth is to purchase things from black owned businesses. And because I am always about female entrepreneurs, I went looking for some black owned candle companies specifically that were owned and run by women. And I found this amazing candle company called the Southern Elegance Candle Company. Um, I believe they're based in North Carolina. This one that I got is called Orange and Amber, and you can tell I have been burning the daylights out of this. Now, I do wish, I think I didn't let it burn quite long enough the first time that I burned it, because you know how you really want to burn it long enough that the whole top layer is completely liquefied? Uh, excuse me. No, no, no. You may not have that. Sorry, Walter. Minnie Mouse was on the floor and Walter tried to eat her. You may not have Minnie Mouse. We'll put her right there where she's safe. Stay safe, Minnie. Um, so it's, um, what was I saying? Back roads, orange and amber. And I mean, this. I wish you guys were in my office with me. I mean, it'd be a little crowded. It's kind of a small office. The smell on this candle. And I think, I'm not a candle expert, but I think they call it throw, like how much the scent fills the room. And I've been burning it in our great room, which kind of has our family room and our eating kitchen and our kitchen are all together. And it fills that entire space with scent, but it's not an overpowering scent. It just smells really kind of clean and beautiful. And it is soy, which I love. And yeah, I just, I don't have words for how much I love this candle. Like so much so, and they're not inexpensive. I want to say this was $28, um, but worth every penny in my view. And um, yeah, just loving it. So Southern Elegance Candle Company, put the description below. And this one is Back Roads Orange and Amber. Mm -mm -mm. So good. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is a planner. Now, you guys know that I absolutely love Plum Paper. They have become my absolute favorite planning brand. My main planner is from them. I've just ordered stationery from them. I get my stickers from them. And I just ordered this uh, planning notebook. I don't remember what it's called on the website. Okay, it's called the Goal Notebook. And I had it personalized, which just makes me feel, you know, as an entrepreneur, you're like, all right, I like the personalization. It says Gem Ford. Vesta Productions LLC. Love that. And I ordered, I love these colors. Aren't those amazing? So great for summer. Now this one is a uh, not dated. You can start it whenever you want. And I chose to start, um, and I'm going to start this, I think in August. Do you guys feel like August to me always feels like the start of the year? Like, I guess because my kids always went back to school in August and more than January, even August for me is a time of fresh starts and new pencils and new goals and new notebooks and all of those kinds of things. So it felt appropriate to me to start this in August. So let me just show you guys what it looks like. So here's when you open it up and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab my phone. This is how fancy we are. This is like multi, multi camera angle. It's so fancy. I'm going to go ahead and film from here while I'm talking to you guys through it. And then I will add this footage in. So it says goal notebook guide, setting intentions and sticking to them, starting my month off right. So for me, I will put August down right there. And then we've got this month's goal and then many goals to help me achieve this month's goal, big things happening this month, steps I can take, have better self-care, be healthier, challenge myself, make myself proud, monthly phrases to live by. I love that. And then it's got setting myself up for success, steps to take to achieve my goal, habits, a place where you can mark that, this week's wins, how will I improve next week, what I'm grateful for. And it just takes you through each week so that you can keep track of what your goals are. It is 12 months because then you have reflect pages at the end of each month. Oh, you guys know how I love note pages so very much. So, all that to say, um, and let me stop that and I'll insert that footage so that you guys can see it. Um, I'm really, really excited to start filling this out. As I said, I won't start filling it out until August, but uh, just having a place for just 
my goals. So this I will use in addition to my regular daily planner just to kind of reflect and keep on track and see what, I, you know, how am I doing with the different parts of my business, social media growth, the coaching side of my business, all of those kinds of things. Um, and I have a lot to work on right now. I recently just hired a consultant, in fact, and she and I had an amazing session together. She gave me some fabulous ideas. Um, so those will be going in here and this will start in August. So my plum, paper goal planner is definitely one of my favorite things. Okay, now let's move on to a book that I read. I want to save my favorite, favorite item for last because, oh my gosh, you guys aren't going to believe these are the best things ever. Um, this is a book that I just finished reading. It's called I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. And I know there are a lot of books going around about this right now. Uh, White Fragility is a good one that a lot of people are reading. Uh, lots and lots of books. She has a very relatable style. And it, it really felt like I was sitting down and having coffee with a friend who was sharing with me about her experiences. And she doesn't sugarcoat things. And as the reader, I always appreciate when someone tells it like it is. And um, Austin Chaney Brown does not pull any punches. Uh, there are a few truth bombs in this book. I listened to her podcast that she did with Brene Brown, which I highly recommend. I'll put the link to that in the description box as well. There was just a lot of things that really hit me in my heart, but that also taught me at the same time, but not in a, um, I don't know, not in a condescending way, in a very relatable way that I felt, uh, I, I, it's hard for me to, you just need to read it. <laughs> That's what I have. This is this is the kind of book review I guess I'm going to do on my channel. You just need to read it. Excellent book. Excellent book to give as a gift to a friend if you know she's on this journey. Highly, highly, highly recommend this book. And then lastly, I have my pajamas. Okay, so here's the thing with these pajamas. I already have a pair that I have been wearing constantly. And I wanted to do the favorites video and I was like, well, I can't show them my ratty pajamas that I've been wearing. And they're not ratty. They're actually in really good shape, but I'm, they're like in constant rotation. So I would have to wash them and dry them and have them be like all nice. And I just keep putting them back on as soon as they're clean. I'm not kidding. I read the Amazon reviews on these pajamas and I was like, eh, okay, well, I'll give them a try. So this is my second pair because the first pair I got in purple love these pajamas. Okay, so I'm gonna do like an unboxing of these. Uh, it's by a company called Tick Tick. It's the name of the company. They were $38, I think, which is, you know, it's certainly not the most I've paid for pajamas. I've paid less for pajamas, certainly not the most I've paid. But it's a little two-piece set. This is the top and it is just, you guys, I cannot even tell you. I will wash these before I wear them, but they are so incredibly soft and then it just has a little bit of satin around you know the neckline and then the bottoms are little capris but again you've got this really pretty satin trim on the bottom just a drawstring right there just you know normal drawstring the feel on these pajamas and how cool they are. Now, I've been really lucky. I haven't had a lot of night sweats and things like that with perimenopause, although I've heard from friends that it's probably coming. And in the summertime here in Atlanta, I, I like to have pajamas that breathe really, really well, and they are hard to find. And these are just like butter, like butter. So just cute little capris, and then the cute little top. Now, what I will say about sizing, I got a medium because I don't like pajamas to be tight at all. So if you are in between sizes, my suggestion would be to size up. So if you're normally, I just wanted to see if the price was on here. No, I think they're around $38. If you're normally a small, I would get a medium. And if you're normally a medium, it, well, yeah, I'm normally either a small or a medium. I got the medium, they fit great. But if you're kind of in between like a medium and a large, I would get the large just because it's pajamas, right? And it's got a drawstring, so there's no harm in it being a little bit loose. Um, and, and just for frame of reference, I'm five foot five and I weigh about 145 pounds. So hopefully that helps. But yeah, I, <laughs> best pajamas in the world. And they also, the purple looks a little less this way, but these I feel like if you put a little cardigan on and some flip flops, 
almost looks like clothes. So if you wanted to have a pajama day, but you know, in case somebody came to your door or if you got a phone call or whatever, you don't want to be obviously in your pajamas, then this, let's just call it loungewear. Loungewear, that's a good way to go. We'll call it loungewear. So yeah, th that's my final item is my new pajamas. I love them so much I might actually order a third pair. I'm not kidding. And, and that's very unusual for me. I am so picky when it comes to pajamas that the fact that I found them on Amazon and that I love them that much is actually super strange. So um, yeah, I may very well order another pair because I feel like these would work in the winter time too and just, oh, so soft. I wanna go get in them right now, but I'm not gonna film a video in them. But <laughs> Anyway, definitely recommend getting these pajamas. I think you will love them. They are by Tick Tick and they are called mm, Women's Scoop Neck Sleepwear. Tick Tick Women's uh, Scoop Neck Sleepwear. And of course, I will put all of the items in the description box below. Now, a really quick word about affiliate links and sponsored videos and all of those kinds of things. I actually don't do sponsored videos. I um, I do have a few affiliate links. I have an Amazon affiliate. So y'all know how that works. I get a very, 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 very small commission. I think I made $23 from Amazon affiliates last month. Um, there will be brands from time to time where I have an affiliate link. I will always identify it as such. But I don't do sponsored videos and that is my choice. I get reached out to by companies all the time and I choose to um, just not do that. I've never been comfortable with that. I work with uh, Patreon and my patrons supply me with like a regular income so that I can continue to bring you guys amazing YouTube videos. You can join us over on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. So if that's something you're interested in doing, it would really mean the world to me. And I like to be able to bring you guys completely unbiased content. If I'm gonna bring you a product, I want you to be assured that the company isn't paying me to say something positive, and it just makes me feel better about my channel. So if that's something you're interested in doing, I would love for you to go and check that out. And so maybe that can be my final favorite for the month of June would be my patrons. And if you're one of my patrons and you're listening, you know how much I appreciate you guys. I think I have 133 patrons now, and they get exclusive content, podcasts, exclusive live streams, and it's I just feel like it's become a group of my friends. So love you guys. Thank you very much for all that you do. I hope whatever you're doing today, you're finding joy. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're holding on to your sanity. And I hope that today gave you just a few minutes, maybe a little bit of a break, and maybe some shopping inspiration, right? Because there's nothing in the world wrong with that. I'm so glad you were here, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.